great. And looking back at the little boy from Burbank, did you think that he ever dreamed of that? No. Day? No. Never. Ever. No, no. I mean, I, no. I never did anything with a th another thing in mind. You know, I did things, whether it was drawing or making little Super 8 films, because I enjoyed it, you know? And I think that that, for me, that's why I feel quite lucky. I, you know, people ask me how I became a director or anything. I wouldn't know, because I didn't have a journey that was very clear, you know what I mean? I couldn't, I, I felt almost, when I became a director, that I felt very lucky, you know what I mean? It was almost like, wow, okay. I like making things, I like drawing, I like creating stuff. But I never had that ultimate goal that in my mind. I, 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 you know, I was more worried about getting through to the next day, you know, yeah. kind of a deal. Straight to the point. So you are, in my mind, you are a bit of a maverick, a bit of a maverick. You always have been for me. Have you ever wondered how you manage to become so big despite no. that you are a maverick? No, I don't. No, that's why, that's why I don't really go on the social media. I don't like, anal I don't like, I, yeah, I don't, I, I don't like pictures of myself. I don't, you know, I'm, like, I'm, I'm really kind of funny that way. So I, it's a surprise to me, you know. And, and so I always just try to keep my head down and do what I liked to do. You know what I mean? And, and so whether it was a project like original thing like Scissor Hands or Nightmare Before Christmas or whether it was something like Batman or you know, Alice in Wonderland, that there, there are, there are known entities, I always treated them the same, you know, I always treated them like something that spoke to me, something I could identify with, and so those are the kind of things I just try to not look at all the business and the, the Hollywood side of it and business and, you know, I've been lucky with some successes, so that kind of enables you to get the next thing done, do you know what I mean? So it's, it's kind of that, you kind of looked at it, I kind of looked at it more like that. I only looked at success in the, in the sense of like the opportunity then to do something else, do you know what I mean? Yeah. That was Maybe more. That was the secret. <laughs> and what, what, what does shooting a film mean to you? It's like very dim. Could you ever live without? Uh, well, I, yeah, no, but I do enjoy, it's, it's the hardest part of it in a strange way, but it's also the most strangely fun because I don't know there's something about being it's like a weird family being on a set and all the different artists you know kind of coming together making one thing there's something quite beautiful I and mean, that's what Fellini captured so well in his films you know you get the spirit of what filmmaking was all about and that's something that it, that's, that was one of the reasons I loved his work because it kind of showed you the feeling of a film. Absolutely. Daniel Elfman was central to your, hmm. your journey. How different would be this exhibition without the music of that? <laughs> well, no, he was always, he's like an actor. You know, he's like, he's like a co-collaborator and he's like somebody who has always been, you know, important. You, you know, always with the music, it's always, I always treat it like it's another character. And it's like, like the same way you would treat, you know, like the, the, the art of direction or the, the, the actors or whatever. It's an it's equally important part of, of, of a production. So, my last question. If aliens arrive tomorrow mm. and you have to give them a movie, just that one movie of yours, what yeah. would it be? Well, maybe not Mars Attacks. I don't know. <laughs> no. um, <laughs> I don't know. It could be. I, it's, it's a hard, that's a, that's a strange question. I don't know. I have to think about that one. Mm. Yeah, I, hmm. I don't know, maybe scissor hands, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe big fish. Yeah, yeah maybe, maybe big fish. That's, yeah. thank you, that's better. When they come, you can be there with me when yeah. we meet the aliens. I'll be there. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs>